Welcome in this video. In this video, we will see how we can deploy multi container application. Previously, we have seen how we can use the Kubernetes. Now we will use the Docker Compose. We will follow these steps. First, we will build the images of the ASP.NET Core applications. Then we will push these images to the Azure Container Registry using the Docker Compose. Then we will create the web applications into the Azure and we will deploy all these applications into the container. So earlier we have seen how we can use the Kubernetes. In the Kubernetes you have seen how we can manage the multiple containers. Now we will use the Docker Compose to deploy multi container applications. In Docker Compose we can create a YAML file to define the services and you can use the single command to build the images to push the images. How we will do? Let's see. Here you can see I have the solution web front end and in this solution I have one web front end and one web API. I will add these applications inside the docker compose. How we can do? Let's see. Uh, select one application and right click go to add here you can select container orchestrator support click on that you can now you can select the container orchestrator is docker compose click ok now you need to select the operating system so either you can select linux or windows so let's just select Win linux so once you click on ok you can see docker compose has been created similarly i need to do this activity for web front end right click add and container orchestrator support so select the docker compose click ok i am selecting the linux container click ok now see the docker compose so if you see docker compose compose yaml file so here you can see services under the services you can see both the application if i if i add one more application it will be append here and that is the name of the application and the image this name would be created using the docker compose and context is the docker file where is your docker file if you go inside the wave front ap application you can see this is a docker file docker file having the details what the operating system but i am not going into more details but that is a docker file that docker file would be used to create the docker images so in all the application we have the different docker files now do one thing let's create the azure container registry we will push these images into the azure container registry so i have the ready command container registry name resource group rg1 skvg standard and that should be admin enabled copy it now I can run it here only right click open in terminal a terminal window you can see here okay let me put this command here press enter yes that has been created we will push the images here so the naming convention we need to follow how the naming convention of the local images would be let me explain you uh, so that is the login server name you need to copy the login server name go to the docker compose file yaml file this is the image so do one thing replace it here docker registry slash my web app and similarly for web frontend replace the docker registry 
parameter with the login server name of the Azure Content Registry slash web frontend means if you if you are, if you are trying to understand this image will go inside this container registry so these two images would be created into the SER so let me do one thing now now see uh, I am using the docker compose command docker uh, let me clear CLS and I am putting the command docker compose build so here the important thing advantage of docker compose advantage of the docker compose here you no need to run the different commands for different images using single command the docker images would be created docker compose build then press so now you can see images has been created you want to see the images docker images you can see the list of the images uh, recently we have created this one web frontend and one more i have my web api okay so we have two images so now we are what we are going to do we will push these images inside the inside the container registries to push the images we need to log in we need to connect with the content registry so you can see access keys here username and password you can see so do one thing copy this command docker login content registry uh, put the command docker login content registry we need to login into the content registry okay so see i had already created otherwise it asked the username password so you need to put the username this one and password you can use this one okay so now we have been connected with the azure content registry we need to push the images now so you can see these two images are there let me use the command docker compose push it has been started process has been started and we are pushing these two images inside the content registry okay one is completed second one is going on that is done now see the images here go to the content registries and repositories you can see both images are there in the next step we will create the azure service to deploy this application into the containers how we can deploy it let's see go to the app services create app service give the name under the rg1 let me give the name kc apps kc apps this is the name so here i need to select the docker container because we need to push this image inside the container select the docker container operating system is the linux so here we will select the single container and images image source con azure content registry so here you can see it will ask the registry select the registry currently we have only one content registry here select the images so here you can see two images are there that is coming from the content registry so select the web front end first there is not a specific order you can select any one so first let's select the web front tag is the latest click click next monitor it's okay click review and create create meanwhile you can create next service go to the app service 
create a web service select the resource group give the name my web api or something i can put cases test publish the docker container registries linux next select the single container and select the image source azure content registry here now select the image second here now select the second image earlier we selected wave front now select the wave api tag is latest click on review and create so let's wait so let's see the progress one is completed second one is still going on but let me see the in the completed what is this second one is also completed so in the cassi apps you can see the url copy this url here you can see the output so we have successfully deployed the web api and if you see if you go to the next one that is just completed both having the different url so click on that okay so this is actually api so what i can do i simply created the api and did not make any change so i can use the default api here let me put the weather forecast so it will give the result so here you can see successfully we have deployed the multi container application so whenever you make the change here you can build again using the uh, docker build command using the docker compose build command and you can push it again using the docker push command but if you are pushing the image then you need to do one thing you can enable the di pipeline go to the deployment center here you can see continuous deployment you can make it enable so if the new images would be there into the repository that would be deployed automatic so in this way you can get the updated application and you can test it again so i hope you understood how we can use the docker compose to build the multiple application and how we can push into the azure content registry to deploy into the different containers i hope you have enjoyed the video i will see you soon in the next video till then happy learning